Hey guys, it's Jen and today I wanted to share with you a summer fashion haul. I've gotten quite a lot of clothes lately in preparation for the warm weather. So I'm really excited to share it with you. So let's go ahead and get started. My first item is the beach bag I got for this year. I'm a little bit obsessed. I got this at the Wild Fox Couture sample sale. What I love about it is it's covered in these little lobsters all over. I like sea creatures. I like squids and octopi and I just thought the lobsters were super appropriate for the summer and really really cute. It has this little pocket in the back. You can stick anything that needs to be kind of waterproof in there and not worry about sand getting all up in there. And then I know these aren't exactly summer appropriate but I just wanted to share them because I also got them at the Wild Fox sale. So I got three sweaters. I'm just gonna have to hold on to them until fall and winter roll around. But this one is a turtleneck and I really like it because the neck part is like really ginormous so it gives that like uber oversized slouchy look that I think is super super cute and then I got this one which I think I actually could wear in the summer during sort of the breezier nights because it's a little bit more of a thinner knit but it has this really cute flower detail in the front kind of looks like a picture frame and I just really like the color. And then this sweater is probably my favorite. It has little pink cats printed all over it. And then it has a bunch of sequins on the front, which I just think is super, super, super pretty. And again, it's made of a lighter knit material, so I could wear this on cool summer nights or during the winter. I also wanted to share this dress I just got, brand Cameo. I really like it because even though it has that black lace, which is really naturally very, very girly. It also kind of has this cap sleeve and slightly boned structuring, which makes it a little more female warrior princess kind of look. I don't know, I just think it's really, really cute. I like that it's a little bit edgier and a little bit different. So this next item is actually a dress it's a tube dress, but I wouldn't wear it on its own. Obviously, it's more of an undergarment. I bought this because I actually have a lot of maxi dresses that happen to be strapless, but they're a little bit sheer on the bottom. Sometimes you just don't know. Sometimes you'll just buy a dress from the store and not realize that it's a little bit see-through until you come home, or if you have like a dark colored dress and it doesn't look see-through, but then you have like some kind of flash photo and you realize everything's naked underneath. That is not okay and this will prevent that. The next thing I wanted to talk about are some tops that I've been super obsessed with. I've been really into these sleeveless t-shirts. You know, they have like an extra long open sleeve on the side, so it's actually very cool when you wear them. What I'll usually do is just throw on a bright colored sports bra or one of those bandos. When you're wearing these, it'll kind of show on the side. So you're not actually exposing a ton of skin, but it is very, very cool in the summertime. And this one I just think is precious because in Instead of that you can't sit with us mentality, it says come sit with us. And that's much more in line with my style and how I like to approach the world. And I also like that this is one size too because it just kind of fits everyone. So this next one I recently saw on a picture of Emma Roberts, like she was wearing this exact top. So I was like, score, got the right one. This is a Rolling Stones destroyed t-shirt. This one I think is kind of neat because it actually kind of has punctured holes through it, which I know my mom would would not approve. It looks like those vintage tees that you see everyone wearing and it has that cool American flag tongue. Maybe I'll wear it on the 4th of July or something. So this next tank top I got recently from my friends at Jubilee Project and this is the Doing Good is Contagious tank top. This heathered material for some reason is like super duper soft and I also love the message. If you want to pick up this t-shirt, I believe they have a store so I'll link that down below including everything else I'm talking about. They're a nonprofit organization. I recently did a Mother's Day video with them and they're amazing people doing amazing things. So if you guys are interested, definitely pick up one of these because it's just like the best shirt, especially to sleep in. Okay, so honestly, I went super crazy on buying shorts. I just, for some reason, decided I don't have shorts this year. Starting off with these little crochet shorts in yellow ombre. These are from Raga, is the brand. Everybody needs some cotton shorts that they can throw on under anything that's just kind of stylish, but is really just like not wearing actual clothes. Like they just feel like pajama pants. 
They're really, really cute and bright yellow, so it's perfect for the summertime. And I also picked up a couple of things from Abercrombie Kids. I don't know if you guys have been watching me for a while, but I'm actually super duper petite and I have a really hard time buying shorts anywhere. So sometimes I'll try to look for the more adult looking styles at Abercrombie Kids. And I found these, they kind of look suede and they have these laser cut eyelets at the bottom. And it's just in gray, so it kind of matches everything. But I really like them, I like how they fit and I can see myself wearing them quite a bit. Also from Abercrombie, I got a maxi skirt because again, I like clothes that I can wear when I'm really lazy and I don't want to feel like I'm wearing something that's not pajamas, but they look more stylish than it actually feels. It's floor length and it has a slit on the side. It's just your basic navy with white stripes, very classic, very casual, and very easy to make it look very stylish. And then I made it my mission to look for the perfect destroyed high-waisted shorts, and I came across the best ones at PacSun recently. These are from Bullhead. I bought it in two colors. This one's kind of like a bleached acid wash version that has quite a lot of destruction right in front of the pocket area. And then this one is kind of similar, it's just in a faded black coloring. And I like how they come up a little bit higher because I feel like if they come up higher on your waist, you can have them be a little shorter at the bottom and it kind of like balances out the amount of skin showing. And then I wanted to finish up my haul with a few accessories that I got. This is a hat. I recently featured it in my How to Style a White t-shirt video. So if you haven't seen that video, I'll leave a link right over here so you can go over and click that. But this is just a great woven hat. I've really been looking for a small build fedora to wear during the summertime. So I kind of protect my face from the sun basically and I was having a hard time because I have a really small head and so a lot of hats are just gigantic on me but this one from Urban Outfitters uh, came in two different sizes this one is a small medium and it's like not too bad stays on okay <laughs> I must be on a black and gold accessory kick because I also picked up this hair band it looks very kind of like vintagey I have another one that I got years ago and I love wearing it still and so I figured why not have a different version. The other one I have is black and silver and this one's kind of like black and coppery gold. I think it's super cute. You can wear it over your hair like that or you can also tuck your hair in so that it's more of like a traditional headband. But I like these because they're not too gripping on my head like regular metal headbands and it doesn't give me that kind of like headband headache. Do you guys know what I'm talking about? The last thing I wanted to mention is a piece of jewelry which I love because it's just really classic and I feel like it would fit in with a lot of people's personal style. I am just obsessed with this. It's from House of Harlow. I've been wanting it for a couple of years now and I finally picked it up and I loved it so much. I also wanted to do a giveaway for you guys in order to win this very necklace as well as $200 in credit to Daily Look. All you have to do is go over to their website. Right now they have a lot of different styles that they're featuring, whether that's classic or Americana. Basically there's something that'll fit everybody's personal taste. Look through them and decide which one is your summer style. And let me know that down in the comments below. This giveaway is gonna run for a week and you have to be a subscriber to enter and hit like on this video. But just let me know what is your personal summer style? So I guess that's about it. Thank you guys so much for watching. You guys know I really, really appreciate it. And I can't wait to choose a winner to the giveaway. And I'm I will using one of my guys favorite my palettes video lately. And it's have the Urban an amazing, electric amazing palette. summer. Bye guys. Hey guys, today I'm going to share with you how to style a plain white t-shirt. So this is my version of using eyeshadow to create an ombre winged liner using some really neon colors.